We've heard firsthand from some supply chain experts on how they've approached challenges in running their supply chains. Let's take a moment to hear from their partner, Oracle. Our next guest is John Chorley, Group Vice President of Supply Chain and Manufacturing at Oracle. John is a veteran in supply chain and technology and will share with you Oracle's approach to drive performance for more insight and collaboration across your organizations. He'll also share an example of Oracle production and a demonstration of a SaaS application with embedded blockchain and more. Hello, my name is John Chorley and thank you for joining this session on driving supply chain performance with insight and collaboration. I don't think even Lisa Chalette of Morgan Stanley quite appreciated the depth and duration of the impact of COVID-19 when she wrote this in April. However, this crisis had made clear the role of supply chains and the central importance of insight and collaboration across those supply chains in developing a true resilient and recurring revenue stream. However, the bigger picture is that COVID-19 has underlined and accelerated trends that were already underway. Global pressures were changing with marginal cost savings often not worth the exposure of complete single sourcing. In an e-commerce services or product as service world, customer proximity and speed is now more important than initial cost. Sustainability in corporate branding, business models and in maintaining a license to operate is a growing factor as is competition, as barriers to entry continue to fall, often driven by disruptive technologies, which are both a cause of and a potential solution for many of these challenges. So as we respond to COVID-19 impacts, how can we navigate from tactical responses towards strategic initiatives with improved insight and collaboration that will enable you to compete, thrive and grow in the new normal? There is a progression in how we respond to any crisis, such as COVID-19. The first is to react and respond, making the best use of tools and products that you have, adapting them as best as possible to new ways of doing business. In phase two, you can start to develop what you need for the new normal and to begin to shift resources to future systems, products and services. The third phase is to start this transition to newer and differentiated products, here is where having a flexible, constantly evolving information platform is critical. The final phase is to accelerate into growth by leveraging your capabilities in new and evolving markets. But of course, it doesn't stop there. The cycle is continuous. The key point is that these initiatives have different timelines. The more structural the change, the longer it takes. If you wait to exit one phase before working on the next, it will simply be too late. So if you want to become a resilient business, you have to be investing now, not just to respond to this crisis, but to enable you to respond to any crisis. The four connected aspects required for any successful supply chain initiative are visibility, insight, planning and action. Each of these must flow one to the other in a holistic connected digital thread. Visibility, collect disparate information from a variety of sources across the supply chain. Insight, the ability to segment and analyze that data so as to extract meaningful information. Planning, the ability to translate these insights into operationally achievable plans across different timescales. And action, the ability to translate these plans automatically into action. Oracle is a good example of how to be more informed and context aware. We have managed a multi-billion dollar enterprise and supply chain producing servers for over a decade. We work with manufacturing partners on three continents and ship products to well over 200 countries. Let's take a look at how this is done with this short video. Hi, my name is Giovanni Shorek and I lead business transformation for Oracle's hardware supply chain. Oracle has had a noteworthy supply chain since the acquisition of Sun Microsystems in 2010. The core of what we do is assembly and test of enterprise computing technology, both for on-premise deployment and for our own cloud data centers. We work with four main EMS partners today. They are specialized, assigned by technology, and they're located across the world, in China, Thailand, Mexico, and the US. Historically, we have had a hands-off, almost turnkey relationship with them, 
but the cloud is driving us a need for stronger integration and closer collaboration. So we are investing in visibility and co-planning. And our supply chain truly has a global reach. We deliver into 136 countries, I think was the last count. We have four key contract manufacturers and 50 plus suppliers that we synchronize our forecast with on a weekly basis. We do that for one tier so far, but are investing in multi-tier visibility and collaboration through supply chain collaboration. We do have the option to allocate or move products and geographic demand as well. The key performance indicator for planning in this supply chain has historically been planning accuracy. We have started to focus on planning responsiveness, driving much shorter cycle times and react to new insights and changes in plans from our sales partners. The achievement that I am most proud of with regards to cloud supply chain planning is that we have been able to connect forecasting and execution without batch synchronization, resulting in the removal of delays and disconnects. The result is speed. We, we can now run a full end-to-end -end cycle, and that is from a demand forecast change through MRP to a supply commit back from our supply partners in a single week. And this used to take three weeks or more in our old architecture. And if we want to make incremental changes, we can even do that in 24 hours. So that is on the tactical side. On a more strategical level, we have built a foundation for ongoing innovation with our quarterly updates, adjusting to new requirements or adapting new features is a structured routine exercise now and almost part of our new DNA. To meet these new challenges, you need a broad, completed, innovative supply chain platform. And that platform is the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud. Designed and built for the cloud, a true SaaS solution that supports complex business flows across all aspects of the supply chain and which enables you to drive Industry 4.0 initiatives towards resilient, circular, sustainable business models. We've made it very easy to ingest data from multiple sources and to drive integrated cross-functional business processes due to the integrated nature of the Oracle Supply Chain Cloud. To give just one example, supporting e-commerce initiatives by seamlessly combining the capabilities of transportation, warehouse management and order management. These out-of-the-box integrated flows can be augmented with integration cloud support using Oracle Integration Cloud so that you can connect other systems and applications outside of Oracle. All these business processes can be further enhanced by IoT applications, which extend the insight and connectivity into the physical world and link this into the digital thread of supply chain processes. This is in each of these domains, manufacturing, maintenance, logistics, and HR. We also apply private blockchain capabilities to support supply chains by incorporating it into SaaS applications, Oracle Intelligent Track and Trace, and linking that to Oracle Supply Chain Cloud, making it easy for business users to get up and running faster while realizing multi-tier visibility and establishing greater trust amongst members of the network. To illustrate this, let's take a look at how Oracle Intelligent Track and Trace can help you achieve more visibility with external supply chain partners. Hey folks, Nick Pesh here. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at Oracle Intelligent Track and Trace, specifically our food and beverage use case around brewing beer. We have our founder, F1 Brewer, and then the corresponding trading partners associated with the Brewers Logistics Network. Now, all of the documents and transactions that take place from those trading partners, as well as F1 Brewers, are collaborated into these different business flows. So as you can see in the top right-hand side here, we have 78 documents associated with this business flow, and they're coming from all sorts of different trading partners and different applications. Now we pull that critical information out into these process flows. And from here we can see these flows are made up of one, the name, what the transaction taking place is, the document associated with it, the submitter. And then we also have some built-in logic to include uh, smart contracts such as identifying and notifying us in this case, if a purchase order isn't received three days after the sales order. Now, diving in a little bit deeper, I wanted to show what one of these events would look like. So here I have a temperature threshold violation that's occurred, which will generate 
one, an event, and then two, a potential action. So I have a violation that occurred in route. It was greater than 45 degrees. And then I have an email sent to F1 Brewer telling me about that. So drilling into this actual event, the telemetry event took place during the ship product phase of the business flow. But drilling in even further into what we call our chronological trace, here I can see the actual blockchain distributed ledger where all of these different events are being recorded. I've got a date and timestamp on the left-hand side. I can see what corresponding business process flow in the middle here, as well as the trading partner, and then a hyperlink to the document. Taking a look at our different sales orders and purchase orders, once I get down to some of our telemetry events, I can see our transportation event here that has occurred where the brew or the temperature in route reached 49 degrees, thus violating our service provider contract and generating that event and notification. Very powerful tool where all of these transactions are being recorded, again, on that distributed ledger. They're securely recorded using cryptography and can absolutely be used for not just contract dispute, but also as actionable intelligence to make decisions, such as the brewer ordering a new batch because this batch is potentially ruined, or perhaps generating a, an additional notifi notification for that receiving party to perform additional quality control measures. Again, this was just a very quick tour of Oracle Intelligent Track and Trace. Thank you for your time. Oracle Supply Chain Cloud enables you to drive insight and collaboration that you need with smarter ways to detect problems and opportunities within and outside the enterprise, to decide the best course of action, and to then execute end-to-end -end business processes that can address them. Oracle's Supply Chain Cloud is not some far-off vision. It's here today, ready for you to begin your journey beyond resilience and pivoting your operations to growth. So the time is now. Pivot forward, define your future, partner with Oracle. My name is John Chorley, and thank you for joining me today.